it's me again and I have makeup on. I have makeup on. I am better and I'm well enough to put makeup on my face. I I got so excited to, <laughs> at the prospect of putting makeup on like, oh my God, you have no idea. But first of all, those of you who are new to my channel, welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name's Faith Grenade and I put makeup videos here on YouTube. See that subscribe button? Just hit it. Just hit it right now. No one will look. I promise I won't look. Today, a lot of you who've watched my channel here for a while know that I tend to gravitate toward avant-garde, different, you know, crazy makeup looks. I love doing that. That is my favorite type of makeup to do. But I've been looking around the YouTube universe lately and I've been seeing a lot a lot of back to school makeup looks, which makes sense because a lot of people have probably gone back to school by this point uh, because this is going to go up a couple of weeks after I'm filming it. <laughs> so I'm a little late to the game on the back to school train, but I'm seeing a lot of back to school makeup for students. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I didn't wear a whole lot of makeup when I was in school. Um, in my goth days, sure, yeah, I would wear full goth makeup a lot of the time, but um, you wouldn't catch me in full smoky glam for freaking school. Like, I didn't even put moisturizer on half the time. I just trudged my way to the salt mines. More specifically, I noticed a lot of YouTubers who are on the older side doing back to school makeup for 16 year olds. And while that does make sense and, you know, honestly do whatever feels good, as somebody who is now officially pushing 30, I don't think I can sort of accurately depict to you guys, you know, a back to school makeup look for a high schooler because I don't have the skin of a high schooler anymore. My skin has changed drastically since I was in high school. So the tips and techniques that work for me as a 26 year old woman are not going to be the same on a 16 year old. So. I was like, what can I do? What, you know, how can I, how can I change this up? How can I get a little bit creative? And then it hit me. Teachers, they're, I'm seeing all these makeup looks for back to school for students, but I'm seeing nothing for teachers. And holy cow, you know, teachers, like they're expected to be moral, like one of the, some of the most morally perfect people on the planet. They're supposed to be super, you know, conservative and high and tight and by the book and, a lot of the time, unfortunately, female teachers are expected to wear a certain amount of makeup every day when they go to school to maintain a professional appearance. Now, whether I agree with that or not is irrelevant. That hit me and I was like, oh my God, perfect. So hence this makeup look, which is a back to school makeup look specifically designed with teachers in mind. So. Most of, you know, a lot of people who are starting their careers in teaching or counseling are around my age. So a lot of the techniques I'm using here on my eye look are going to perfectly complement people's skin. So I wanted to create a look. Here's, here's what we're going for here, just to show you. I wanted to create a look that had varying degrees of intensity. So at any point during this look, you can stop where you are, you know, at any step in the look, you can just stop, throw some mascara on and head out the door. So this can be less intense and very natural and very soft, or it can be a little bit more intense depending on what you're looking for and what is okay for your employer. And this look is also perfect for an office environment. It's a perfect conservative makeup look where you can still stretch your creative muscles without necessarily, you know, getting in trouble for having too extreme of makeup, which I think is stupid, but you, you know, whatever. And to top it all off, this look is perfect for people who wear glasses. A long time back, I was getting, a, I was seeing a lot of calls on Reddit and, you know, in social media for more eyewear friendly makeup looks because, you know, some people wear contacts, some people don't. I don't wear contacts, I'm a glasses wearer. So I decided to create this look in such a way that it will be glasses friendly too. And to top it all off, I'm using one of the most popular palettes out right now, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. 
I know, hard to believe, right? That something this soft and gentle and conservative can come from something this crazy looking. You know, I, I was I was seeing a lack of sort of teacher appropriate or office appropriate uh, makeup looks for back to school. And I was seeing a lack of natural kind of work friendly makeup looks using the modern Renaissance palette. So I decided to put two and two together and create this for you guys. And if you want to learn how to achieve it, just keep on watching, baby. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. I already had to plug in my freaking camera for a half an hour because I plugged in the wrong charging cord. Mercury is fully in retrograde and I am feeling it hardcore. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. You could call this a palette shaming challenge because I've had this for probably like two months and haven't touched it. So what is wrong with me? You would think that there's a lot of like strong colors in here. So you're like, wait, how are you going to do a back to school makeup with that? Boo boo. Got you. I'm gonna start with Sonia Kashuk 109. Y'all already know how it goes. And I'm gonna take Burnt Orange, which is this kind of soft, warm brown color. Tap it off, because these, you know, can be strongly pigmented. And I'm just gonna whoosh this into the upper crease area, kind of starting in the deep crease and fading upward. Adjust the shape accordingly to your eye shape. I tend to carry my transition shade up pretty high, um, but that's because I have very deep set eyes and I want the transition shade to uh, show up. Like hell, even throwing just burnt orange in the crease, throw some mascara on, you're set to go, get out of here, you know, go teach your students. So now that that is transitioned into my crease, I'm gonna take a Real Techniques Bold Metals 203 just got this and I'm going to tap into Realgar just a small bit because this is pigmented and we do not want to use too much. So just on the very tips of the brushes, taking Realgar and we're just going to whoosh this into the deep, deep crease just to give a little bit more definition and a little bit more warmth. And then I'm going to go back in with my 109 real quick and just fluff that over it. Just to blend those two shades together, get things nice and going. Again, you could stop here, throw mascara on, and call it a day. But I decided I, want a, I wanted a little bit more definition in the crease department. So again, I'm going to lightly dip into Cypress Umber, the deep, deep brown in this palette, with the same brush, just barely getting it on the tips of the bristles, tapping the hell out of it to get the excess off. And we're just... Gonna concentrate this on the outer V and maybe a little into the crease if you're feeling daring. And if you wear glasses, you can get away with slightly smokier looks than someone who does not wear glasses. That's part of the reason why this eye is so strong. I'm gonna show you what it looks like with glasses. It gets really turned, uh, kind of toned down. So this is a very eyewear friendly look for my fellow four-eyed folk. So once that is applied and slightly blended, you can go back in with the 109, blend it even more just to really diffuse that color and get it as soft as you want it. Again, noticing a pattern here, you could totally stop with this, but we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush and I'm gonna start working the lid. So first on the lid, we're gonna take Golden Ochre, which is that shade right there. Soft, kind of demi-matte, yellowy color. And I'm gonna pat this over the entire lid. And it doesn't look like it's going to be brightening, but it really just meshes with the other colors in the look really well. And sort of, you know, just puts a little product on the lid for you. So the look looks a little more finished, a little more polished. Now, if you want a little more inner corner brightness, if you're noticing that your inner corner needs a little bit more kind of Shazam, you can take the same brush or a smaller brush if you use smaller eyes and go into Primavera, which I'm going to do. Go into Primavera, tap it off a little bit and just smush that in the inner corner. And it's just gonna open your eyes up even more brighten everything up, make you look awake, even though you've been awake since like 4 a.m. and you are tired and you are running on caffeine and prayer. 
work in the lower lash line. Again, you could stop here, but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep smoking things up gradually bit by bit. So I'm gonna take a little burnt orange on my little 203 brush and I'm just gonna run burnt orange down across the lashes very lightly. Especially when you have like thick dark frames like I do, you'll see in a second. Um, adding more shadow to the lower lash line will kind of balance those thick dark frames that you've got going on. So not too much just a touch. And then if you would like, again, totally optional, you can take a little accent brush, tiny bit of Cypress Umber. I literally tapped it once and I'm tapping off the excess on the back of my hand and then run it just up against the lashes. Run it under my little hood here on the outside. For liner, I decided to pull out my good old trusty Revlon Color Stay twistable, retractable eyeliner in topaz. This is a copper liner. Now, again, you know, depending on the school you go to or the school you work at, this might not be acceptable. It might be too much. So go with this. You could go with a deep brown. You could go with a nude in the waterline and then a brown on the upper lash line just to keep things nice and conservative but I like throwing a little fun pop color in there sometimes. That's as simple as that. I'm gonna pop on some mascara. This is my CoverGirl Super Saza. Of course, if you are prone to nervous breakdowns because kids are assholes, you can use the waterproof version. So there you go, guys. That's basically the entire eye look. I did already put some face makeup on. I used some drugstore, some high-end, you know, depending. For bronzer, I just lightly dusted some Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer on just because that's very lightly pigmented, so there's no risk of overdoing it. And then for blush, I went the fall direction with Mellow Wine by Wet n Wild. It's gorgeous fall color. You could use something a little bit lighter, a little bit darker, depending on your skin tone. Really anything goes. Um, and then for highlight, I dusted a tiny, tiny bit of Becca Moonstone over the tops of my cheeks just to give a little healthy glow and make it not look like I am dehydrated and sleepless because, let's be honest, aren't all teachers dehydrated and sleepless because they work so, so incredibly hard. You know, what, what lips you're going to want to do will vary greatly depending on, like, what is okay in your place of work. You know, you could do a warm nude, you could do, like, a soft pink would be really pretty, you could do a very neutral lip, you could do matte, you could do shimmer, you could do, like, a, a glossy lip. Really, honestly, like, this is one of those lip, you know, looks where anything could probably work with the exception of something that's super cool toned. I wouldn't use anything super cool toned. But I know for me, you know, if I'm working in the education industry and I'm pulling, because those teachers, man, they pull long days, they work really, really hard, and so I would want them to have a lip that is going to last on them for forever and a day. So I would probably go with a liquid to matte lipstick rather than a cream lipstick because then you don't have to worry about constantly touching up. You don't have to worry about it getting on your teeth or anything else like that. I think I'm gonna go with Celebrity Skin, good old fashioned standby by Jeffree Star. There are plenty of dupes for this, but you know, the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipsticks are what I have, so they, what I, they are what I use. Um, despite the fact that Jeffrey has proven himself to be a little bit of a dick, uh, I'm not gonna sit here and, you know, not use the dozens of his lipsticks that I own just because he is a douche canoe. But I'm gonna go ahead and pop this puppy on here. Quick nude lip. You can let this kind of dry and set down. Uh, this one had been sitting for a while, so I think it was a little bit separated because it is significantly runnier than it normally is. But there you go. Pop some setting spray on, which I already have, and you are good to go. 
When it comes to false lashes, use your best judgment. I honestly wouldn't bother with it because, I mean, they take way too long to put on and you're probably gonna be rushing out the door anyway. But there you go. There is a makeup look for back to school specifically geared toward teachers. And to show you, hey, you guys haven't seen these in a while. <laughs> yeah, these are my glasses. So you can sort of see what I was talking about when it comes to a bolder, slightly smokier look, working a little bit better on someone with glasses because I have this thick upper frame here, so the smoky lower lash line doesn't look nearly as kind of intrusive or as bold as it normally would. And the bold brows kind of work with glasses as well because again of the whole balance factor. Got a big thing going on here. So there you go, guys. This is my makeup look for teachers, or more specifically, an office-friendly look using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette that is, you know, glasses friendly. That is eyewear friendly. I hope you guys found this video helpful, informative, or entertaining. If you did, there's a button for that. Spank that like button in the butt. You know it deserves it. And if you want to see more from me, subscribe and become a member of the faithful today. I put out new videos every Sunday. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and joining me today. Teachers, thank you so much for what you do, educating the future of our generation. And I will see you guys in the next video. Toodles!